Well, since we're gonna haul out the boat, um, the interior's gotta go because it's all wood, it's really heavy, and it's starting to rot. The galley has to go, the table has to go, this old ceiling has to go, this, all these seats, all of this has to go. We gotta pull everything off, build the whole boat with foam instead of wood. We're gonna pull out the galley, we're gonna pull all the rooms apart, we're gonna take off this bathroom here, all this has gotta go, all the lining, all the walls. We're gonna pull out the old floors because they're number one, they're really heavy, number two, they're rotting, and if you look over here, you can see how thick they are. It's just too heavy. All these beds gotta go, make it flat this time, because if you look under here, we've got all this stuff to try and flatten it out because it's going on to the wing deck, which has a uh, angle in it. I'm gonna pull this room apart. My room's really empty. We'll probably um, make some new stuff here. Uh, we're also gonna pull out this whole cupboard here so that we can access behind the beam. It's just being held on by, by these screws here, so it's, you know, pretty easy to come off. So we've got to make another one. I think your dad's going to bring, we're going to bring the bed back further. Yeah. And then, so this front part might be, it's going to be something more different. All the interior's got to go. Lots of stripping, got to pull everything out. And then what do we do once we've pulled out the interior? Let's have a look at this here. We're going to do this to the whole hull. It's going to be filling it, sanding it, filling it again, making it all smooth. And then we're going to prime it and paint it make it look all shiny. And then we're going to replace all the wooden parts like the steps and um, other stuff with foam and fiberglass. And then on to the starboard side. Redo all the steps. We're going to pull out all this. We're going to redo the nav station. We're hopefully going to make the steps look like these ones, except prettier. And then we're going to pull this bedroom apart, which is parents. We're going to pull this out, pull this wall off. We have new doors and door frames for the engine room. As you can see, here's the new chain plate, which will be um, uh, sat, which will be sanded, filled, and painted. All the tools have got to go. Do this whole bathroom. And also do this other forward cabin. Should be fun, lots of fun. Pulling the whole interior out, see how much weight we can get rid of. Boys have just said there's a big crack in the wall, so we're gonna come down and have a look. Oh, the wall! Oh, in the floor. Oh. You see it? You see it there? <laughs> oh, okay. Come over here. That's not concerning. Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not concerning. This might be the place yeah, where we might sell the boat. <laughs> just grind it out and fix it. It's not hard. I know you can fix it, but what's causing it? Uh, the previous owner put a block in the wrong place. Which is why you must always, always, always. Lift your boat in the right spot and make sure that it's Drop sitting on, on the blocks in the right spot. Alright, so we've got extra support there because we actually had a look and that crack it was opening up. So now we've got a little bit more support. And yesterday we got all of the major growth off the house, which is awesome. And today we've been busy taking all the weight out. And just gonna secure the dinghy. Yep. 
those are the tips that the boys painted in St. Martin, so that's good. So we have about going I'm not sure about standing here because we have a crocodile and it goes all the way along oh and it moves when I walk on it Okay, so because of that crack that I just showed you, we're going to get um, travel lift back and we're going to move the blocks that are supporting underneath the boat further aft because at the moment they're sitting in the wrong spot, which is our bad. Um, but they've made a, a pro an existing problem even worse. Um, but, so if we've got having to pay to get the travel lift back tomorrow, we're going to drop the rudders out at the same time. We'll take advantage of that. So Shane is now um, taking, undoing tiller arms, the tiller arm on the starboard side, which is the rudder that we haven't redone. And when we were in Valencia, we actually couldn't undo it last time, so I don't know how we're going to go this time. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to see how we go. Try and get it out this time. And then we can make a new rudder. Are you going to make two new rudders now, Shane? Yeah. So, are you going to break off what's already existing, what well, the one you built in St. Martin, you're now going to break apart. Cut that blade off. Oh, what a shame. So, now that we're in Barcelona, we've got access to some good sort of uh, machinery and equipment, we can... Are you going to just get the, uh, the blade CNC cut or are you going to make molds? Molds. Okay, we're going to make moulds and we're going to do the rudders properly. So Shane, we're going to take that, um, cut the blade that we made off and we're going to make new ones on those carbon stocks. But we need to get this one out as well so that we can take the rudder stock out when the travel lift comes tomorrow. We're going to drop both rudders. We know the other one comes out because we've already put it in and out in St. Martin. And we will take them out and make new ones. We coming out? Uh, no. You grab me the other spanner set that's upstairs. I think that's got an idea. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some bigger gear. Okay. I did get the heat gun, but I think he's got some, have some success there. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to get these bolts out. Oh. Doesn't mean that it'll come apart though. Well, we got the, these bolts off last time, didn't we? We just couldn't get the stock out. No. Oh, you couldn't even get this far last time? No. Ah, okay. Well. I'm glad I found that Allen key set that I've been carrying around from the um, brakes. Oh, yes, using your tools, are you? Okay, so are you working on getting that sail off? Yeah, everything's off now, other oh, than the um, reefs. I'll wait until. I want to see what Dad's doing now. He's just got the bolt just, out. Oh, he's just freed it up, have you, Dad? Yeah, progress. And this is what we did 
so far so you can see that um, this here is a plywood piece and if you can see that inside window there uh, a lot of the other guys with these katanas are saying that this plywood section usually rots out because you get the water through the window these windows are terrible for letting the water in um, you can see the marks there where it's just got water in through the cockpit window um, yeah so we're going to sort out the horrible wires there I'm going to leave a lot of this structure exposed because it's much better for accessibility we don't want to cover it up and what's the point of living on a boat if you don't know you're living on a boat ready to go when the travel lift comes. Okay. So, what did you have to do, Ollie? Tell, uh, Harry, tell the camera. Um, so, what I told Dad was, how about we try and get a wedge, a wooden wedge that was here, but he said that wasn't strong enough, because I saw him trying to use the chisel, and then he had the great idea that we'll use um, a coal chisel, which is almost the same, but it's fully metal, and it's a little bit wider. So then what he did was whack that in between so there's the um, tiller arm, we'll squeeze around the rudder stock and it'll hold it in place and there's a grog screw and that's been seized in there so when dad tried to remove it, it just stripped so then there's no way it's coming out and so then what he's done is he's grabbed this chisel, put it in between these two clamping pieces because it's like a little bit like a shell, you would put the bolts in and squeeze it and we put it in between and it's pulled it out enough so we can drop the rudder. And then, on, and then on the other side, it's the same, but we wouldn't have that problem because that side had electrolysis go, since it's a fully steel shaft and um, it should just drop straight out. So we're ready. Okay. Okay, he's ready. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, look oh. at this. Cameraman. Oh, that's so heavy. Oliver, oh, please help. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's so heavy. Holy smokes. I think it's full of water. All right, you can move your hand, I got it. Okay, you got it? Oh, I got it, yeah. All right, so on the ground. It's heavy. <laughs> oh my God, that weighs a ton. Uh, these are, these EO bones are getting worn out pretty quick, you know. I think it's filled with water there. That's, that's yeah, freaking heavy. A, a solid sand doesn't break when you're crossing the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Nice and rusty. Yeah, look. Has um, the bottom bearing come out? No, it still is. It's in there. Um, uh, could I have a flathead screwdriver real quick? Just to remove the stuff on the side of it. Look, right there. Yeah, inside this crack. Let's see. A little bit of silver, and that's the, the pin. Uh, it's the retaining pin. So the oh. propellers are kaput. Ka oh, put kaput. They've been kaput several months ago. Look at that. See that giant crack right there? Mmm. You can actually see the pin. Oh. That goes hey, Amy, can you put the engine into uh, reverse? Oh, I can hold it. How you going, Dad? Both riders out? Both riders are out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we'll add new propellers to the list. And so are you ha are you happy with your rudder? What? Hmm. Did a little bit of rust on the top. Ooh. Okay, might want to do the other one. Uh, which side does this go to? 
So, okay, so you see this? This means this. How do you stop that? Just retaining. Um, Alrighty. Need to isolate the shell from the carbon, and that's what that glass layer was to do. But when they machined it, it broke through into the carbon. So get that. Not a, not a big, not a major. Hey, Aiden, we nearly lost the blade. Oh, not yet, it's not a major oh. yet. Uh, Aiden, come yes. here, before you take it off, before you take it off. See that crack oh. Want to tell us what's happening today? Lifting the back end of the boat up, drop the rudders out, and move the blocks around. Alright, let's try and weigh this then. So we zeroed off the... Yep. yep. So this is our carbon fibre stock. And we're going to see... Alright. The one that we made in... The Caribbean. Look at that. Seven and a half and we haven't actually weighed much this weighs. 30 kilos for the stainless steel. 29. It was 30 kilos. It was 29.8. Hey uh, versus seven and a half, so that's a huge difference. Uh-huh. You couldn't do this with the other rudder. No, you couldn't. <laughs>